Hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 gear up video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be recreating Ronin's MPX Carbine. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. So I do want to say right off the bat that the hardest thing about replicating his firearm is getting, one, a good logo that actually fits on the magwell properly and it looks decent. And two is the camo. The camo is very hard to find in this game because um, obviously the game doesn't have his exact camo except on an AR-15 variant that was just released. Or sorry, an M4 variant. I, I'm using civilian terms here. Just bear with me. I don't know why. All right. So this is what the gun looks like. And I'm going to show you guys another piece of camo that you could use that looks almost the same as uh, the one he uses in real life but this one also kind of looks the same I was very conflicted with what to use uh, the only downside with this one is it's not as green as the one in real life so uh, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate this anyways with this camo and I'll show you guys the other one so you guys can have both options available starting off with the muzzle we're gonna be using the AVR T90 comp and the tune is as follows Move into the barrel here. We're going to be using the carbine barrel, the 12 inch barrel, which is uh, which has the tune right here. You could have added one that's a little bit longer, but unfortunately, this is the longest we'll get. So, we're going to have to bear with this one and use it. I was going to also put a suppressor on this thing just so I can uh, get that extra barrel, uh, barrel length, but. I don't know it doesn't really fit it so moving on to the optics here we're gonna be using the SC battle optic which is the one he's using the Leopold or Leopold however you want to pronounce it uh, what you guys want to do with this one and I'm gonna show you guys the tune actually real quick before I do talk about the rest but what you guys want to do is use a different skin for this because if you use the default skin the optic will have the camo on it but in real life his optic is black so make sure to equip this skin specifically for the optic i have no idea what this one or where this one comes from but definitely use the uh the skin provided there and then moving on to the stock we're going to be using the ravage 8 with this tune right here so the reason we're using the Ravage 8 is because it's the only stock with a buffer tube and he does run a buffer tube so definitely uh, actually he doesn't run a buffer tube I'm pretty sure uh, but this is the closest one that we can get to what he's using. Moving on to the underbarrel we're going to be using the operator foregrip and here is the tune for that so it was around yeah right here. Around point 20, point 19 uh, should be alright there. So yeah, that is the gun and the camo that you guys could also use aside from the foliage bamboo camo is the, uh, I believe it's spray paint uh, day marsh. So you guys could use this one and if all else fails, I believe there's one more, I, I can't really remember where it is. You guys could maybe possibly use rip and tear but it has the, uh, the white streaks in there which he doesn't have so, uh, but then again it does make the stock green which is supposed to be green in the first place and, and the foregrip itself so you guys could roll with that one but again it's not very accurate I would definitely just roll with the foliage one um, or again day marsh I forgot to mention the sticker so if you guys want to put a sticker on it he does have a sticker but it's a blossom leaf uh, we don't have that in Call of Duty so the best you can use in my opinion is Scorpion or Gunfighter Coffee Com uh, Company. You could also use the new Presence of Death sticker but it's red and it's uh, it, you know it sticks out too much it, it's just not what he's using his is only black uh, so again the closest one would be Scorpion it kind of blends in with the camo and it has the black outline so that's what I'm personally running but it's up to you guys if you guys want to run a sticker or not you don't have to I just I personally want to run a sticker so let's go ahead and jump into the shooting range and let's try this gun out so as always I'm going to let you guys listen to it and uh, see the animations
All right, let's do a quick shooting test. This gun isn't new, but I think it was in the patch notes. And uh, you guys already know what this is like, but I do want to obviously make a uh, class with it. So 10 meters, three shots to the head. Four shots from 25. And five shots from 50 meters. So uh, the gun is still effective. I mean, I don't know if the patch did much to it. Oops. Very odd recoil there. Oh yeah, from 50 meters you're probably not hitting much, but it is a necessary for a reason regardless of that uh, carbine uh, barrel on it. I wouldn't even, I don't even want to call it a carbine barrel to be honest because it's not that long. Uh, but it is definitely significantly longer than the, uh, the stock one. Okay, this thing has weird kick. But still pretty good, I guess, if you guys want to use it for close range combat. Definitely a shredder. Just uh, be aware of uh, <laughs> anything past 25 meters. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and make more of these. Let's see what we can get. Um, I would like to replicate more uh, of everyone's weapons, to be honest. But we'll see how far we get into it. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.